Construction on Zach's dream home is nearing completion. And the last thing to do is add the finishing touches, beginning with the tile. Here we are in bathroom number two. This is a little bit of a smaller space, so I wanted to make sure to have a nice accent in here. And that's why I chose a herringbone pattern. It also offers a really nice balance with all the drywall in this room. In the shower, they use a traditional running bond pattern for the tile. They install larger size tile for the bigger rooms in the home, including the laundry, mudroom drop zone, and master bath and closet. Next, they prepare the walk-in shower for tile. One of the big features of the master bathroom is this big walk-in shower. Now what I like about it is that there's nothing to step over when you get into it. So to do this, we've actually dropped the floor and then we've got this system in place where it pitches a quarter of an inch for every foot. Meanwhile, the crew begins installing the pre-finished, hand-scraped hickory wood floors. Golden Eagle designed the hearthstone to sit neatly above the wood flooring to ensure a more finished, clean fit. With the flooring complete, they finish installing the trim and baseboard. I really like the look of the worn edge on this trim. It gives it more of a, a rustic and reclaimed look. It looks like this wood has been weathered for many years and it has a little bit more of an oversized nature. You really get a sense for that when you look at the baseboard here. It's approximately about eight inches tall and even the baseboard makes a statement. Next, they begin building the custom staircase. Golden Eagle has many options for the stairs and Zach chose square treads and rails to match the rest of the home. With the staircase complete, they build the custom double top railing system. The next day, a shipment of cabinets and vanities arrive on site. Golden Eagle not only supplies cabinets for the kitchen and bath, but also closet and mudroom cabinetry. The crew uses Golden Eagle's detailed renderings and plans for easy installation. We're at the point in the kitchen where all we need are the countertops, the tile backsplash, and finishing the range hood. So what we have here is we've actually engineered this in a way where it'll be able to hold all the stone going all the way up. It should make a really good accent in this kitchen area. Next, they install the Corian kitchen countertops. They use a seam setter to draw the countertop slabs together. Once finished, the seams are virtually invisible. Meanwhile, they install the stone on the range hood. 
One of the finishing touches is the countertops. These here have a thick edge profile. I think that's very fitting for this style of home. Tomorrow we'll be able to finish off with a tile backsplash that'll cover this whole area and continue throughout the perimeter of the kitchen. The countertops feature a built-in raised cove for the tile to sit on top of. This prevents any water from getting behind the tile and countertop. The next day, the appliances are delivered. Golden Eagle's design department worked closely with the appliance supplier to ensure a perfect fit not only for the kitchen, but also the laundry appliances. Outside, the stone work is almost finished as they complete the fireplace chase and foundation finish. With the house complete, the focus shifts to the yard as the hardscaping begins. We have a lot of natural, native materials. You know, we try and bring in uh, the large boulders. Um, we're trying to make it look as natural as we can. Really just making it look like this home fit the space, like we built the home on top of all these boulders and in the midst of all these plants. And so the theme would be like natural, inviting, and then ultimately distinctive, just like the home. So it started out in the front, we have a unique area right by the door. We decided to make that a French drain. So that it's actually utilized, all the water goes, collects there and drains down into the ground. We couldn't really put any plants there because of this. So we started with this large black specimen boulder that Zach literally walked over to the pile and picked out. And we put up there and stood it up and made it more like a monument. I think that kind of set the tone for, look at this boulder and then just wait till you see the other 85 going around this house. And as much as we can, you know, try and make it look like nature. Join us on the final episode as we give you a complete walkthrough of the home. Subscribe now to follow along.